Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Agnes and this is going to be my review of Butcher's Crossing by John Williams. This is a western novel and it follows Will Andrews, a young college student who, inspired by a lecture given by Emerson, decides to head west to a small western town called Butcher's Crossing, seeking freedom and a truer version of himself that he feels can only be found in close connection with nature. So when he arrives at Butcher's Crossing, he meets a group of hide hunters who take advantage of this gullible and young man and uh, convince him to join a hunting expedition to a secluded valley to track down an immense herd of buffalo. The western landscape plays an important part in this novel because it has a very profound effect on Andrews. He constantly marvels at the beauty of the wilderness and we get these beautiful descriptions of the landscape that they are traveling through. Uh, however, instead of finding that sense of freedom and uh, some spiritual connection to nature, Andrew soon discovers that the journey entails a labyrinth of weariness and suffering that he has to go through and uh, he partakes in a senseless slaughter of hunt thousands of buffalo that at some points is very hard to read because it is very graphic. Although I think that the unflinching way that the author describes the killing scenes does serve a purpose because it shatters the idea that there's some spiritual element to hunting. Also the hardships that these men have to go through that sometimes turn into a pretty typical survival story are important because they show that although nature has this immense majestic beauty it is pretty much indifferent to whether these men live or die. Also the characters participating in the expedition and their thoughts about each other are never directly stated but instead revealed through their actions and it's interesting to see how all of these different men in their own way are confronted with their indifference in relation to nature. It's also interesting to consider this novel in relation to the author's later work, especially Stoner. Early in the novel there's a conversation between two characters that somewhat foreshadowed the later events of the book and it's a literary device that is later more masterfully used in Stoner. Moreover, even though they are very different novels, I felt that to some extent Will Stoner was an answer to the more immature character of Will Andrews. We see that Will Stoner was born into a poor family and early in life found his passion for literature and decided to devote himself to a humble life in quiet desperation in pursuit of literature studies, while Andrews denounced his privileges and decided to head west to, to seek self-discovery in wilderness and uh, to pursue a glorified dream that in the end turned out to be a lie. On page 220 of this edition we get a great passage that pretty much sums up the main message of this novel. Young people, MacDonald said contemptuously, you always think there's something to find out. Yes, sir, Andrews said. Well, there's nothing, MacDonald said. You get born and you nurse on lies and you get weaned on lies and you learn fancier lies in school. You live all your life on lies and then maybe when you're ready to die it comes to you. That there's nothing. Nothing but yourself and what you could have done. Only you ain't done it. Because the lies told you there was something else. Then you know you could have had the world. Because you're the only one that knows the secret. Only then it's too late. You're too old. And with that, I'll leave you to decide whether you want to read this novel. Overall, I really enjoyed it and I encourage you to pick it up. Let me know what you think and see you next time. Bye!